Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomani. In this video of REP part 3, we will discuss about the business object behavior and the corresponding runtime implementation. In my last two videos or in my last video, we discuss about the REP architecture. We saw this REP architecture when we used to build one OData service that either can be used in Fiori application or as a web API we have to divide this particular task in the three part. First part was the data modeling and behavior and second part is the business service provisioning and third part is the service consumption. We discussed in my last video more about the first part, data modeling and the behavior. In that also, we more focus on the business object. But most of the guys, I'm thinking like that, they have started RAP without learning the BOPF. So that is the reason we just we just tried to understand what is business object actually and we saw the what all are the different part of the business object data model behavior and runtime implementation in that we were more focused on the data model part where we discuss what is root entity what is parent and what is child entity and what is the relationship between them using the what is association what is composition what is the difference between them those kind of thing we have discussed in my previous video in this video we will discuss remaining two part of the business object. One is the behavior, one second is the runtime implementation. Let's get started. We will start with the behavior. So behavior is defined by behavior definition. Now you will ask what is the behavior definition? It's a ABAP repository object. We have ABAP repository object like the reports, classes, function modules. These are the ABAP repository object. SAP introduced one new ABAP repository object called behavior definition and the in this behavior definition we will write the code in the behavior definition language like in uh, reports we will write the code in the normal ABAP programming in the same way we have the different language here the behavior definition language that is called the BDL in short using this we will write the code in this behavior definition offset. Now you will ask what we will write in this. So in this behavior definition object, we will write two things. One is the operations and second is the field properties. Field properties like that, you want to define particular field only the read only or you want to make some of the field as a mandatories. I'm giving some of the example. We'll do a lot of things on the field properties like that. These kind of things we will define in the behavior definition. Suppose you have created one application in front end, this particular field, it should not be modifiable when you click on edit mode. So that kind of things we will make as a read only in this behavior definition, then it will automatically will not become the modifiable field in the front end. Same way, if you want to make some field mandatory that we can define here, this field is a mandatory. These all are the field properties we can define in the behavior definition. Same way, for the particular business object, we can do multiple operations. Those operations we will define in this behavior definition. In the like, we want to create this behavior business object. We want to update, modify. What all are the operations you can do on that particular business object that we can define in this behavior definition using the behavior definition language BDL. Now, what all are the things we can define? The first thing we can define the operations. As I told you, modify operation we can define. You can create or you can update or delete or apart from create update delete modify operation we have something called the actions in normally business object uh, sales order as i told you we can create the sales order we can update the sales order we can delete the sales order but apart from that if you want to do some other operations like you want to approve sales order or you want to reset sales order or you want to do something some other operations that modification operation in the sales order level that we can do using the actions that is also part of the behavior definition language and regarding the read operations normal read you can do if you have multiple entities in that business object you want to read with the uh, along with the root along with the root you want to read another entities also the, that we can say read by operations or read by association also we can do and apart from that we have a function function is the same as the actions actions will do some modification in the system but function only used for the read read purpose not doing for the uh, operation if you link with the OData, you have something called the function uh, we there also we have function imports also there 
the same way here we are using the actions and functions in the wrap now we regarding the behavior characteristic as i told you again we have the uh, in the as a part of the behavior definition language we have the modification and second is the uh, field properties apart from that we have the behavior characteristic like if you want to define some e take for your particular business object if you want to modify something then e take concept i already explained in odita i when we will come up when we really do the development in the report or in the when we create our first ref application we will try to understand this all the features called the what is draft handling what is feature control numbering and authority control these are the characteristic these also we will define in the behavior definition this is a part of the behavior definitions the, these all things i'm just giving the overview we will do more things when we create our first wrap application we will discuss each and every part in detail this is all about the behavior definition we will define this all the things in the behavior definition but the implementation ultimately we will do in the behavior abap classes so for one behavior definitions we can have multiple abap classes uh, which will be again linked to the particular root entity or it can be linked to the other entities of that particular business objects so the definition part what we want to do we want to do create update delete what you want to define something e take you want to define or you want to define the locking all the things we will do in the behavior definition but the implementation part which we want to really do the coding that we do in the abap classes that is very important thing again that is again linked to this those abap classes we will define in the behavior definition itself and then we will write those uh the methods will be generated or we have to write those methods inside those method we have to code to implement our behavior definition so this is all about the behavior now we will discuss about the runtime implementation before going to the runtime implementation i just want to show you how the behavior definition look like in the system that is again screenshot only i will we will see uh, when we do the practical thing then we will see all in the detail you can see one of the behavior definition i have created where i have defined some of the operation which i want to do on the particular root entity the root entity called the travel what all are the operation i want to do suppose i want to do create update and delete entity uh, there is a sub entity also that is called the booking uh, we can say the child entity and apart from that we have defined some of the field properties like the read only or some of the mandatory things are there those things we are defined the field properties also and as i told you we define here some of the characteristics also like that uh, we want to do the draft handling or not we want to log the data what is the e take master field those kind of things we will all things we will define in the behavior definition language wrap app repository object this is again the abap repository object but this is not the abap language obviously there is the bdl language but this for this small small thing thing we do we have to do the implementation here just we are defining the things we want to do if you want to do the implementation for, for those things we have to do in the class that class we are defining in the behavior definition itself jbpi wrap travel underscore ram this is the implementation class where we will write actually the code if we want to write some code for the any of these things against there are different manage and non manage scenario that we will discuss in upcoming uh, upcoming videos where we will do really the development I, we will go each and everything in the detail but just i want to show you the how the behavior definition look like that is the reason i took one screenshot from the behavior definition which i have created and then just now i just want to show you how it look like so you will get some feeling that's it and next part is the b runtime implementation so again the runtime when you interact with the business object is you as i told the business object is a three part when you interact with the business object then this runtime part will come in the picture in this runtime implementation when the user will interact with the business object either he want to read the data he want to do the transactional thing on that particular business object that that time so all those all the things will be same in the transactional buffer again this part we have the two part business object runtime mainly consist of the two part one is the interactional phase where the user is interacting either he is reading or transact he is doing some modification objects objection operations those all will be saved in the transactional buffer 
once a user is satisfied everything is done then he will click on save button then the save sequence will trigger and it will save finally data or it will process the data we say it will save the data in the database so this is how the uh, this business object runtime work so we have mainly the focus on thing we have something called the transactional buffer so we have intermediate thing it will save the data when the user interact with the uh, that business object and finally when for one particular business object instance we only have the, uh, the we will have the transactional buffer transactional buffer can't exist without the business object and for that particular instance what are the data that will be saved in the transactional buffer once the everything is done when user click on save button then everything will be the same in the database we will call in the sap language present the data in the database so this is all the three part of the our business object well where we have the data model we have the behavior which we define the bdl and we have the runtime implementations so this is again how we it, this define how we interact and how the things are happening when we are doing the interaction these all things i have shown you in the high level i didn't go in the detail in the upcoming video when we create the business object that time we will go in the detail as well the one most important thing till now we have covered this business data model model behavior part of the, our first layer just we discussed the cds we already know from our the cds video but we discussed today about the behavior definition language and for the implementation we again we have to do in the classes only that is a bap classes so this is about the business objects and queries directly that we do on top of the cds again th there are many is then unmanaged scenarios for the queries as well and for the business object as well those are the different different aspects are there which we are going to discuss in upcoming videos i think for this video we have done this was the very short video i will just i would just want to finish that business object in my next video we will discuss about the business service provisioning before going to that video please like this video share this videos with others as well but that thank you and happy learning